there was the classifying Genshin players as well. Apparently, Genshin. people said that he calls people out on this one. So we'll, we'll give this one a watch as well. Apparently, this one's absolutely hilarious, but we'll see. Genshin Impact is a game that attracts many people. True. The casual. Starting off, we got the casual gamers. Missing a couple of days of Genshin doesn't mean shit. Okay, but this is me, and, and, and I'm not old. Probably go to bed with Cap Resin, do a couple commissions here and there, whack a couple rocks, yep. and log off. You don't spend a lot of time playing because you might be busy playing other games. You got a job. Or maybe you're mentally stable. <laughs> okay. Moving on, we got the regulars. Oh, God. You try your best to do all your dailies, weeklies, and occasionally some ores and artifact collecting. See, okay, I'm like in the middle of these two, I think, because I do my dailies all the time. I don't do them every single day. If I miss a day of dailies, I don't really give a shit. But I don't focus on weeklies like at all, dude. Unless I'm hyper-focusing battle pass, I don't focus on weeklies. You consistently max your battle pass and your knowledge of the game is nope. decent, but nothing too impressive, you know? Okay, but I have good knowledge of the game, so I don't know. Which character uses which artifact, but who cares? You don't have any good artifact. <laughs> Last hardcore. but not least, we got the hardcore gamers. Holy, These are gamers, he's buff. The workers who wake up every day to clock in the work to farm fucking blue rocks. You spend hours every day grinding mobs, collecting materials, and farming artifacts. This okay. is not a gotcha game. This is an RPG to become the next anime protagonist you what do I always say, dude? What do I always goddamn say? I always say I treat Genshin Impact as an RPG game with a side element of gacha. You want to become so powerful that you isekai the truck, not yourself. What? <laughs> so far, we have the casuals, the regulars, the hardcore gamers, and the psychopaths. You need to farm everything. You need to nope. know everything. You need to do everything. No. Nope. You're basically in a loop of never being satisfied. When it comes to ores and crystals, you are the mining company. Jesus. People ask you for help about the game, and you don't know just the characters, but their whole ancestry as well. Whether it's artifacts, mechanics, characters, lore, or maybe taking a shower, the min-max life chose you, and you will fulfill it to the end. What keeps you going is- I think I'd hate that. I, I think I would genuinely despise being that way. So that's called a whale? Oh, definitely not. There's plenty of whales that barely know anything about like how to build characters. They just spend a shitload of money on them. 100%. Doing 10 more damage than last week. Jesus. We then move on to the artifactors. Oh, this is me. Oh, this, this, this hurts, but this is me. Fuck. I don't want to admit it, but... You chase artifacts that don't fucking exist. If you don't <laughs> roll five times in the crit, it's trash and you love gambling. When looking at an artifact with one good subset, you think to yourself... Okay, not me. Not me. I have the mental fortitude to not roll on an artifact with simply one good substat. I do have that. I make sure it's got at least three good substats most of the time. Three. Maybe this is the one. Oh, there goes gravity. Kumas? It's Lord my chat. Mercy, I'm about to burn. Next, we have the Touch Starve. These guys have been edging their whole lives that anything remotely arousing would cause the next Yellowstone eruption in their pants. <laughs> Quick lads, this lady needs our help. Uh, Whether no. it's booba uh. or caca, these people are everywhere from armpit sniffers to whatever the fuck this is. And, uh, okay, so Kaya's voice, uh, pregnant. What the f <laughs> What's wrong? Can't handle the cold on my knees. I you guys need help. Agreed. The collector. You swipe every banner to pull characters that you'll never use. Yeah. There's a lot of people like that. I I am getting like that. Fuck. I'm new to the game and I put C10 gun use. Is she any good? I also put some five stars using my last wish. Am I lucky? I'm free to say. Did I mention that? <laughs> Bro, bro, the amount of people that come in a chat and they're like, I just got C2, C2 Hu Tao in one temple. Is that lucky? Bro, you fucking know it's lucky. You're just trying to fucking flex. Do you guys know I'm free to... <laughs> MMDs. What the fuck? Is that... Strawberry Dill... Smash. What the fuck? There You're practice. a giga chat who spends time analyzing frame data of characters and you know all the glossary terms used by your fellow five heads. You drink mineral water instead of normal water because <laughs> there isn't enough nutrients in normal water to fill your big ass head. Why study for your exam next week when you can develop a PhD in elemental gauge theory? Architect? Level 10 trust rank, max vials, all realms unlocked, furnishing set on standby and is full of companionships. 
I have seen a lot of people in this community, in my community specifically, that are definitely this classification, dude. Especially when we used to do the teapot competitions. Wow. Pretty impressive, honestly. In-game companionships. You spend 10 hours <laughs> rotating a tree for the best position, and you agree that the boar is the best pet. People out here flexing damage, but maybe the real flex... What the fuck was that? Position, ...and you agree that the boar is the best pet. People out here flexing damage, but... Damn. That's a lot of damage. damage. Maybe the real flex was how big was your stone cock? Stone cock? Speaking of flexing, we got the cloud chasers. You huh? chase the big numbers and dream of becoming the best DPS in the game. You might think DPS stands for damage per second. Damage per screenshot, baby. But it's actually damage per screenshot. <laughs> Get your food buffs, Mona, Bennett, and a copious amount of luck because you all in crit <laughs> yeah. damage and bang on the 1% crit rate. Yeah. The sky's not the limit for you. It's the fucking moon. Pretty much. You could be dying from a B12 deficiency, but that's not going to stop you from refreshing the page for new leaks to eat. You consume the latest information on Genshin, always preparing for the next patch when you- I think I'm ready for the next patch. Plays one day of the next patch and is confused as to why they already know everything about the next patch and then proceeds to never play the game again for another six weeks until the next patch, which they've already looked at leaks on and they already know everything that's going to come and then they are shocked yet again at why they already know of everything that's going to happen and complain the game has no new content. You haven't even played the current patch. Pretty much. They don't exist. <laughs> No, they do. They do. I met one. One Zinyan main. Hey, what can I say? You like getting shafted every day. Waking up to get abused from all directions as normal. And you can be seen in dark alleyways sniffing the area for leftover primo gems and mora. <laughs> You're a free to play with a whale mentality. And the longer you play, the more you think, Hey, maybe I really am a masochist. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Genshin is your first gotcha game. It was my first gotcha. Is that Link? <laughs> Guess it was my first gacha game, dude. You don't know what's worse, gacha games or actually liking it. You find joy in summoning and being blissfully ignorant of the gacha aspects during your honeymoon phase. That's what I was like, 100%. 100%. Being fairly new to the genre, you go into every banner expecting to actually get the banner character. Mm, no. I, I got out of that mindset instantly, honestly, for, for this. Fairly new to the genre, you go into every banner expecting... I, so, okay, I was never allowed to feel this way because on my first ever banner, uh, I went for Tartalia and I got Chi Chi uh, and decided not to pull for Tartalia. So I never thought I'd actively get every single banner character because Chi Chi fucking ruined my life. Expecting to actually get the banner character. Yeah, the primo count. Fuck all. You've been fucked in the ass by monetization from so many other gacha games that Genshin is just another game to feel your gacha addiction. You pull to numb the pain that is being at the mercy of RN Jesus and you start scheduling more months of cup ramen. A tear runs down your cheek as you whisper sweet words into your ear that eating is optional. Damn, it's me, 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 true, that's me. Chat, get help. You can't run the fucking game. <laughs> Not to be confused with min maxers, you collect for the sake of collecting. The more shit. This is Lola. This is Lola in chat. Lola is a mad fucking hoarder. You have in your inventory, the bigger your magnum dong gets. Immersion. You spend hours exploring mountains, gliding through rivers, and setting up a photo booth wherever you go. The camera is your best friend, and you have a collection of the same 100 photos, but the angle is one degree different every time. Fair. Law paid attention is... Okay. I feel like there's better ways to phrase that, but you know what, it's fine. If you have given as much fucks as you did reading Genshin theories and being emotionally invested about the story into your own real life lore, you could have been the main protagonist by now. Based. That was a funny one, dude. That was a good video. Dude, Akashok's videos are great. Go check him out, chat. That's a, that's a fantastic video. Damn, that motherfucker got a million views on that one. That's sick, dude.